Here is an overview of the new AIOps Leap Learning Enhanced Automation Playbooks. This new product is paramount for automation engineers and automation architects that want to easily identify automation opportunities within the IT operations domain. And the way that this product works is it's not necessarily just another automation tool. It does much more. The first thing that AIOps Leap does is it analyzes the past closed IT operations incidents in order to identify common patterns and opportunities of automation and it groups together these incidents creating the so-called automation opportunities that we see here. Now, automation opportunities will be first of all grouped in terms of priority and in terms of the potential benefits that will be offered for each of them. Then for each automation opportunity, AOPS Leap will offer the number of associated tickets, projected savings in terms of monetary and time savings per month, or even the monthly frequency of tasks and many more. Each automation opportunity will be grouped by status, and we can see different statuses here. The default status will be when the resolution steps are not even yet generated, but we have even more. And of course, the automation priority will be established by a number of factors, such as how critical the incidents that are part of that automation opportunity uh, were. Now, let's explore one of these automation opportunities to see more details. In this dashboard for this specific automation opportunity, we can already see the projected costs and time savings, the priority in terms of uh, criticality in this case, we have the status and much more. We can even see the activity that has been performed on top of this automation opportunity. Now, AOPS Leap helps you generate resolution steps for each automation opportunity by analyzing not only all the related records that are part of that automation opportunity, but also all the knowledge base articles that are residing in your environment. And when clicking generate resolution steps, AOPS Leap will offer you a set of prescriptive guiding steps that are essentially determining how that set of incidents should be resolved. It's possible, of course, to edit those steps, but essentially these steps will be paramount in order to essentially either create a problem record, as it's possible here to just with one click create a problem record by leveraging the re uh, resolution steps and information of that automation opportunity, but also to potentially create either new workflows within the platform or even outside of the platform, such as with automation tools and as an example with Ansible. But now the cool thing is that for those that have the entitlements to the creator workflows SKUs with the power of Now Assist, it will be also possible to create a playbook with a one-click experience. Basically, we'll have that the text to playbook technology will analyze everything that the resolution steps contain and the automation opportunity is named after. It will create a preview of how a potential workflow will look like so that we can save and edit that playbook. Now, we can have both the diagram view to see exactly how that automation opportunity, or I would rather say how that playbook will look like, or we can even access the board view in order to see all the flows and subflows that are part of that playbook. We can edit each one of them, and whenever we're satisfied with it, we can just simply activate that workflow that will be effectively working instead of having a dedicated automation engineer working on these opportunities manually. Now, AOPS Leap offers a dedicated dashboard from where we can see all the published playbooks that have been created. And in this case, we can see the one that we just created there. So we can click on it, view all the details, such as the total savings that that very same playbook has generated, the number of tickets that have been resolved, and the time savings together with the overall ratings. We can even dig deeper into the tickets uh, resolved and we can see which ones are there or even in the reviews so we can get feedback from the operators in terms of how well this playbook has been working. And this is a key part. 
Now, whenever we generate a playbook, a leap within the platform, we will be able to leverage that in a completely different part, which is the service operations workspace. We are essentially enabling the operators, the support agents, to leverage those playbooks when solving or when resolving new incidents that come up. In this case, we'll just simulate a new incident with the same uh, short description as the one that we selected in there. We'll select a specific color. So we don't necessarily input too much in here. This is just a sample. Well, you will see that within Service Operations Workspace, we'll have a dedicated button for AOPS Leap from where we can access all the playbooks that have been created with that product. And in this case, it will automatically associate a playbook that we just created in there and that we could leverage in order to resolve this incident. There are different steps that will be triggered by that very same workflow. We can even dig deeper inside each one of those steps and we can see all the details for that. This is a really powerful engine that allows agents to basically have a one-click experience and essentially uh, resolve that incident with one specific uh, playbook. Now, let's go back to our Leap workspace and we can see here that we'll have a dedicated Leap value dashboard. In this dashboard, we'll be basically leveraging the insights on the playbooks that have been created in order to see what is the value that those playbooks have been bringing in terms of time and monetary savings we can see here details about the playbooks by status, playbooks by automation opportunity, even the top 10 playbooks by uh, either tickets resolved or by time savings, etc. So we have a full dedicated dashboard to essentially analyze the return on investment of all these automations. And we can also select the time horizon for that. If we want to have more, of course, we can even edit this specific dashboard on the UI builder as well. So this is the power of AOP Sleep. We have a central tool that is going to individuate easily the automation opportunities. It will help us create the resolution steps. And then after creating the resolution steps, it will be very easy to create playbooks that we can leverage within the service operations workspace in order to help the operators to resolve incidents as soon as they occur with very few clicks, so with full automation. Thank you for watching this demo.